Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, it does look a little different. Welcome to the Rocky Mountains. So I got a chance to get away for a couple days, but I thought I'd take you guys along just to get a little bit more laid back. Not so much the day-to-day, -day, but kind of what I do in my free time. So out four-wheeling today, you are actually currently propped up on my four-wheeler. And just kind of wanted to show you around me. Of course, I am still carrying, and today I'm using my Springfield XDS in my cross free mini tuck. And since we do have quite a few bears, mountain lions, a couple other things up around here, I decided to pack a little extra. So I've got a double mag carrier also from Crossbreed. And yeah, let's go for a ride. <laughs> another really chill day up here in the mountains but I did want to show you how I would change up my carry for today so typically when I'm wandering around in the woods I would go ahead and grab this bear spray it is very very similar to pepper spray um, the biggest difference is that it does spray out farther than than your typical pepper spray and it is a little bit stronger and of course <laughs> the bottle considerably larger so that is why i do like to change it out for an actual bear spray and up here i really don't care about concealing as much and then i would normally also be wearing my in this case i've got my springfield xds and i do have the eight round magazine And I've also got my two nine round magazines up here. Just like to have the extra capacity just because I never know what in the world other than mosquitoes I could run into up here. Yeah, that is what my typical carry would look like up here. So while we're up here, we do also have some trail cameras around the property that we will go ahead and check to see what we've seen. Now that I've had a chance to go ahead and check those trail cameras that we have around our property, I'm really not concerned at all about concealing. Turns out we had a bear cub on the property about a week ago, which means mom is somewhere close by. So I did swap out my XDS for a 41 Magnum Taurus. So I've got that here in an outside the waistband holster because there is no way I'm getting that uh, concealed at all. Not happening, no way. And of course still have my bear spray might go ahead and have that unlocked as I wander around. Not sure the uh, actually the opening mechanism for that is not difficult at all. So right now it is completely locked up, and there is um, a belt loop on this holster. If I did want to go ahead and wear that, I might. I typically don't because the whole thing works as is. Or you can go ahead and have that in the holster, and it just slides right out. But it is super simple that just unlocks and then you just push down to deploy the actual bear spray so i might keep that unlocked not quite sure especially since i am up here on my own right now um, but yeah definitely going to be carrying my 41. Hey guys, it's my last day up here, but I did want to do one final check-in. I did go hiking for a little bit this morning, but I will be spending the rest of the day on the road. So I am carrying up in the appendix position in my Southern Bullets holster with my shield. Just because since I'll have my seatbelt on, I didn't want to deal with 
carrying on my strong side plus but I've also got my usual pocket knife, my spare mag in my Neo mag and an Olite. And it's starting to rain now, so I'm gonna go hit the road. Bye. Mm -hmm.